what is a Christian? What does it mean to be a Christian? We're going to hash it out today. And I want to tell you, first of all, the word Christian came from 1250 to 1300 AD from the Greek language. It was a word that was created to describe the behaviors of those who practiced biblical teachings of Jesus Christ. Okay, nowadays we hear people throwing loosely the language of, I'm a Christian. They think that because they wear a Christian t-shirt or because they've gone to a Christian concert or they love Christian music or I've heard, even heard people say, well, I was raised in a Christian home. My, all my ancestors were pastors. My family drugged me to church my whole life. Can I tell you the truth? None of those qualify you as a Christian. You have to choose for yourself, Jesus Christ. Now I wanna break it down to you in four very simple steps or points that I pulled straight out of the Bible. Number one, Peter said in 1 Peter 1 verse 23, you must be born again. What does it mean to be born again? Now, the only way you can truly understand this is through the spirit of the living God. The Holy Spirit would give you the revelation knowledge of what I'm about to tell you. So we're born into our natural physical body through our mother's womb, right? When you're born again, okay, we can all agree that we're spirit beings. We are a spirit that lives in this body, right? And when the body dies, the spirit goes on and it lives forever. It will live forever in either heaven or hell. But either way, it is going to live forever. Here's, the, here's what being born again means. It means that when you surrender to who Jesus is, believing upon him, knowing and following him with your life, when you say yes to the salvation of Jesus Christ and what he brings to your life through his death, burial, and resurrection, here's what happens. Your spiritual eyes are now open. So before that, they're closed, completely closed. You don't even see how the devil is misleading or pulling you away from God. You cannot see it. This is why the Bible says that the devil has blinded the eyes of those who are to inherit salvation. They cannot see that they're supposed to know Jesus through salvation. Their eyes are closed. So number one, you must be born again. When you're born again, your spiritual eyes are opened. And when you're born again, you are born not of a corruptible seed but incorruptible through the Word of God. The Word of God lives forever. Number two, you must believe the gospel and faith must be confessed. So faith comes by hearing according to Romans 10 and 17. This is why we need to be constantly reading the Bible, reading and hearing messages of the gospel of Jesus Christ, going to church, hearing the messages preached, because the same way that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God, the more you don't go to church, the more you don't listen to sermons, the more you don't hear your pastor preaching the word or you're reading the word yourself. If faith comes by hearing, Faith is going by not hearing. Remember that. Romans 10.10 10 says that for with the heart you believe unto righteousness and with the mouth you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. So you must hear the word of God, believe it, but then faith must be confessed with your mouth. 
You must confess Jesus Christ is my Lord. Jesus Christ is my Savior. Number three, you must repent and baptism follows repentance. So repentance is, it's not just saying, I'm sorry, God, okay, for what I've done, for how I've lived. There is a deep sense of sorrow that comes from within you when you are truly born again. And that repentance causes you to turn and go a different way, to literally lead a different lifestyle. So if you used to sleep around with people that weren't your spouse before, you stop doing that. If you used to get drunk every Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, however many days of the week there are, you stop doing that. There is a shift in your lifestyle, okay? Acts 2 and 38 says, Repent and be baptized and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The fourth point I want to make is that you must walk in holiness, okay? Romans 6, verse 3 and 4 tells us that we were baptized into the death of Jesus Christ and we were also raised up to life, to new life, newness of life, just like Jesus. So in point four, here's what you need to remember. It's not about wearing a Christian shirt or going to a concert that played Christian music. No, my friend, you must have a transformed life. Your life must be lived holy. People need to see the difference in your life. There needs to be a complete turnaround. Okay? So newness of life, holy living, sounds a lot different than just saying I'm a Christian, right? but this is what's happening in the world today. So many are deceived by the devil, thinking that they don't have to do anything. And the reality is this, the truth is you just need to encounter the real Jesus Christ, the real Holy Spirit of the living God. Because when you really do, he will change you. He will change change you but you have a part to play and it's those steps I just mentioned you must believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God that he rose from the dead so that he could be the recompense for your sin to reconcile you to the father if you don't believe that you can stop right there if you don't believe he was risen from the dead you can stop right there you must believe and you must turn your life around. It has to be turned around. It's a supernatural grace of the Holy Spirit that comes upon you. It's this natural progression of, of you marrying up with the Holy Spirit in total submission. You can't make it up. You can't pretend to be a Christian. You're just deceiving yourself. So I want you to be very cautious in how you proclaim your life as a Christian because we are representers of Jesus Christ. We will be held accountable for everything we say and everything we do in this body on the earth. May your declaration truly give glory to God. Truly. Does your life give glory to God? Can people look at you and know that you believe that Jesus is who he says he is? You have repent and turned from your sin. You've given yourself over to baptism and holy living. When these things are set into motion, God will get glory. God will rule and reign on this earth through your life. People will be drawn to Christ through that light, through the transforming power of the Holy Spirit. It is not until then that they will see him through your life.
Because if you are not truly transformed and living holy, you are just making noise. And those who are really following Christ, people who have the Holy Spirit can tell. This is the beauty of the Holy Spirit. He tells you things. He shows you things. He shows you when things are a big pile of you know what, when someone's trying to coerce you with lies. So be the person today who's truly walking out your faith in more than a Christian t-shirt, in more than just calling yourself Christian by name, but you're truly transformed by the Holy Spirit of the living God. And if you don't know Jesus today, I want to invite you to draw near to him today, to ask him to truly reveal himself to you today. Holy Spirit, show me who Jesus is today. That's all you need to say. Holy Spirit, show me Jesus. I want to know him. I'm ready to turn from my sinful living. That's all you have to say. If you're ready to do that, I want to pray for you. So drop a note or a comment down below so I can pray for you and invite you into the family of God, the family of Jesus Christ, not just any God, the one and only God. There's only one way to the father and that's through Jesus. So if you don't know Jesus, you can never get to heaven, you can never know God. So if you made this choice, I am so proud of you and I want to encourage you on your journey. So let me know so I can send you a new believer's guide. And I want to say thank you to those who always watch these videos. I have missed you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Share this video. Someone needs to hear about Jesus. Come and follow me on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. And I'll see you next time.